Hi, this is Chris. Today I'm going to show you how to make my basic example of the Internet of Things from my previous video a bit more interesting by putting some more Internet into the mix. This time I will make the LED flash but when someone gets a like on Facebook. All the hardware that you need to perform this lab is the same as in the previous video so please check out that for more details. The difference this time is that I will add a multi-channel service to get the number of likes from a Facebook fan page and the Arduino program or sketch will be calling that service and blink the LED accordingly. So the flow is that someone clicks or taps a like button and Facebook adds that to the fan page likes count which makes it available to the graph API the Arduino queries the omnichannel service for the number of likes, which in turn query the graph API for all the fan page info, extract the like count and return it to the Arduino. The Arduino then compares the returned likes count with the previously count retrieved, and if the new count is higher, it flashes the LED for half a second. Okay, so let's start by looking at the code for the multi-channel service. It first saves the Facebook username parameter on line 2, then it gets the fan page contents from the Facebook Graph API for the username specified on line 3, the content is decoded to JSON on line 4, and if there is a likes node, it is retrieved on line 5 and returned to the caller on line 6. This service can be deployed to a cloud server with the name likes.php, uh, and I've showed how to do that in a, my previous video named Omnichannel Service First Service. Okay, so here is the Arduino code or sketch. And after the initial includes, a constant for pin 13 is defined on line 4. That pin is set up for output on line 8. And then we initialize the bridge on line 9 which allows communication between the microcontroller, the traditional Arduino, and the microprocessor, which is running Linux. After setting up a few variables on line 12 to 16, the eternal loop starts by getting the content from the omnichannel service on line 20 to 25. The code now gets the likes for the Swedish DJ Avicii but it can easily be changed to any other account with a fan page, even your own. The response is parsed as an integer with a number of likes on line 26. The difference since the last request is calculated on line 27, and if the difference is positive, the LED is turned on for half a second on line 30 to 32. Then we wait for two seconds on line 35, save the recently retrieved number of likes on line 36 and reset the server content on line 37. This way, each time that Avicii gets a like on Facebook, the LED blinks. So there you have a more interesting example of the Internet of Things mixed with omnichannel services. And with that, I wish you the best of luck with your Internet of Things projects. Thank you.